but it's very difficult to, to say that some things are visible because for people uh, something to be visible needs to be um, have a strong impact and be something violent in fact when something comes slowly it's difficult to see that is visible uh, and uh, in fact uh, the, what is already visible it's the extreme events uh, increase for example the floods and um, the um, the increase in the, the period of time of heat uh, events in, uh, in the Mediterranean, essentially. And uh, there is something that is also visible in the sea. It is the non-indigenous species that are um, increasing. For example, the jellyfish that uh, was not uh, so uh, much spread and new uh, species like the buck jellyfish that can uh, have a toxin that is very dangerous for nervous and uh, system and the heart and can also kill, uh, and it, is, um, it begins to be much spread in the Mediterranean. In fact, as we will have uh, temperature rise, and we already have it in fact, but it will be worse, uh, and it is um, expected to have, uh, before the end of the century, about five degrees for the worst scenario of increase in greenhouse uh, gases. So this rise in temperature will uh, have many effects and the first effect is the increased water scarcity because we will have more evaporation of water from, uh, the, for, from surface waters and the, sea, and the sea level rise also will increase the sanitization of the uh, coastal wells uh, so they, the, the underground water will be sorted and the surface water will be evaporated so we will have an increase in water scarcity and we will have a problem of agriculture, of uh, food, so of uh, drinking water, uh, irrigation and industry and everything. All the economy will be touched by this climate change in fact. And also uh, we will have a direct effect of climate change, so this temperature rise we were, and the, the, all the conditions of the climate change will also have an effect on plants and fishes and all the living organisms. So the yield of uh, growth, of, for example, of uh, agricultural um, of, uh, of agricultural plants or even natural plants will be reduced. So we will have less food to eat uh, and. Uh, not only the problem of ecology and, uh, and um, all the equilibrium in the nature, it will also be a problem of food for people, available food, uh, fish and plants. One of the first uh, um, one of the first things that can be done is to improve the city planning. So uh, it is because of the heat increase. If we have an increase in heat, it's better to, to, to um, improve uh, the constructions. Uh, it is one of the ways to, to improve, uh, the, um, uh, to help for the, um, uh, the, the heat effect on uh, people. Uh, the second thing that can be done is um, to manage the rainwater because the rainwater uh, comes to cities and essentially the urban rainwaters with uh, the problem of the floods because if you have rainwater management in the cities you will have less floods the second thing that can be done is the uh, change agricultural practices that there's this way so adapt species and the irrigation practices for example so agricultural practices need to be adapted to this climate change. And uh, the last thing is water management, because the main problem that will be in the Mediterranean after the climate change is water problem, the water scarcity, as it is the most uh, touched region in the world uh, for this point of water scarcity. So water management, how? It will be, it has to be done with many uh, ways. It can be done by uh, the reuse of treated uh, waters for irrigation or of recharge of uh, ground waters. It can be done by desalinations of sorted waters. It can be done by recycling of grey water, so the waters that are not um, f 
from uh, that are only from kitchen or from bath. So this water can be recycled, recycled in houses. Uh, for industry, it's the same. Uh, it can be done also for by collecting rainwater in urban uh, um, urban uh, areas. So there are many ways. Mm -hmm.